Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we are back in Satisfactory again today. Hanging out in the grass fields working on the Sunstreaker computer factory and we are going to try to get as much of it going as we can. I've got a funny feeling that when it comes to actually making the plastic and getting it down here it's going to be a little bit more involved. We'll have to see how much we have to go back up and produce in the oil fields. Uh, but uh, right now we are going to be working through the logistics and get everything looking nice and pretty. Uh, and uh, I want to give a shout out to Mind Trip Media for 100 bits starting off the stream. I really appreciate the work and the lurk. Mind Trip, good to see you. Super Fast, Blast, Jordan, J. Christ, Loki, bunch of regular regulars in the chat. Happy Friday. Hope you're all having a good day so far. I got nothing to promote that I haven't been promoting all week. Uh, we've got new episodes of the Spawn Chunks. There's the episode of Imp and Skiz that's up on YouTube. And uh, the episode of the Citadel Cafe is currently still being edited. So we're just going to get right into it. It's Friday and I want to play video games. Blast Jordan, hello. What's up? Hope things are well. Sweet Sandy. Hope things are well with the puppy. So I know that we also want to continue to create... Uh, the active adaptive control unit, uh, but I think what we want to do is also make computers. Um, so I have to be careful here. I think maybe I'll make computers here. Yes, that's what we're doing there. So I need circuit boards. And I should just be able to put those in here. I'll keep some for myself. So it's four circuit boards per. So that'll get us another 100 computers. I feel like that's enough wire and cable. And then once those computers are done, we can feed them in here manually. Uh, oh, that needs circuit boards too. My goodness. Always something. Are we making circuit boards here? No, we should be making circuit boards here. Copper sheet and plastic. This is why I want this factory up and running. We're at this bottleneck now. <clears throat> the puppy is good. Glad to hear it, Sandy. It's more about the computers and the 2x multiplier that I'm worried about, so we'll do that. I might want to look for more summer sleep today, too. Right now i got a few bits of wood and leaves to get rid of. Why is this not working? Did I cut the power off? That's weird. Oh, are we out of plastic? We're out of plastic for a packager. That's what it is. Oh, 
It's alright, we've got lots of plastic. Sandy, is it Elvis? Is the puppy's name? Interesting. Is that what made you decide on Elvis? Is it like Elvis Presley, Elvis Costello? What's the the inspiration for the name? I'm always hesitant to share my dog name ideas until I actually have the dog. <laughs> I don't want people to steal it. I'm sure it exists. It's not like it's a giant um, secret or, or special name, but uh, the puppy is fine. Elvis was the name he was given by the breeder. Oh, wow. And you just decided to keep it? Or did you have a choice? I feel like you can change it if you want, right? Didn't feel the need to change it. Interesting. Cool. Bali! Hello, hello. How's it going? Thirty-nine computers. I say we can put fifty in here anyway. That'll get some stuff going. Remind me to check that in like an hour. Oh, we got lots of computers. What am I doing? Where's the other computer? Probably here. So then one of these is circuit boards. It was up here. some fabric. I think we needed more than 30. We need like 50 fabric or something. <clears throat> you got your plastic and rubber production up and running yesterday. That's awesome, Bally. Synthetic polyester fabric. That would make it a lot easier to make. Uh, I was the hand equipment slot I think that I was going for. Honestly, that might be the thing to do. I just need a hundred polymer. I didn't realize biomass gave you so much mycelia, or um, other way around, that mycelia gave you so much biomass. And then the polymer resin we can just pick up at the other site. That's 50 and I need 100 rotors. Thanks for the lurk blast, Jordan. Appreciate it. That part's done. Tool belt expanded. The latest data indicates that the mycelia possess sentience. Don't worry, we have been given permission to harvest and repurpose their remains. <clears throat> the mushrooms are smart. Noted. Right. Need more hard drives. And I would like to find two more summer sloop if I can. 
Well, let's go get the polymer resin. Is the train coming? No. All right. We'll take her own. A little bit of a warm up here to get a few things going in the background. Joel's too far ahead of me to prevent spoilers. I've already accepted that I will see the story on stream before playing through it. I, you know what? I'm kind of at a standstill for story. I until I get to the next tier, I don't think there's going to be much for story reveals. I guess the only thing would be the quips from Ada, right? Trying to get through tier nine, says Sandy. Do you have to, like, complete Tier 9 to get the final story? Is that it? Are you, are you doing, like, nuclear stuff? I've been playing this game for five years and I've never done nuclear. I just spend so much time trying to make things look cool. Sorry if I'm a little hoarse today. I uh, was out at the pub last night with the guys and we kind of had to shout over the crowd. Not nuclear, but quantum stuff. So you have to do the quantum stuff. Okay, cool. Now I have an offshoot out here. Should be able to switch this. There we go. There's our plastic and rubber, uh, and here's our polymer resin. And it's currently being sunk, but I can probably just grab enough. Surprisingly quiet here, considering that there's refineries everywhere. Usually that's loud. Uh, and I believe you need to send stuff up to the space elevator to get the last bit of story. Yeah, probably. Can I just hold down the key? No. Because then we could turn this into fabric. I don't know what we would need all the fabric for. I'm sure that making it into fabric and then sinking the fabric would be more points than we're currently getting for it. Remember my first oil factory for power, first fuel factory, I had to sink all of the resin in order to keep it going. I think it was 50, right? A hundred <clears throat> and 25 fabric. 25 fabric will be easy. We're waiting for this to get up to 100 to be a pain. Give me the things. Kind of cool to see stuff going really slow in pairs. It's so different compared to your normal like belt just jam packed full of stuff. I 
I'm pretty sure these bins are going to be full. Or at least the train stations. I know we're only making like 30 or 40 rubber per. I think it's 30 of plastic and 40 rubber. It's actually a clear day. You can see the project assembly. There we go. Research completed. Polyester fabric recipe unlocked. Using polyethylene terephthalate, production of a lightweight and strong fabric can be automated. It has many of the properties of naturally sourced fabric and also amplifies body odor. Amplifies body odor? <laughs> a merger, it's a merger. So we'll just put a splitter here, I guess. And a little constructor. Why not? I think that's where it's made. Oh no, is it an assembler? Oh, it requires water? Screw that. Never mind. Oh, we need it for gas mask filters. That's one of the other things we need it for. We'll do that somewhere else. We will do that somewhere else. I thought it was just going to be a simple constructor thing. Uh, we could unlock that. We don't need it, though. And I've got the berries for that. I think I might even have the mushrooms. Might have used all those. One and one. Vitamin inhaler recipe unlocked. Not only does it restore your health, it also acts as a preventative supplement against scurvy and other shortage induced conditions. Unfortunately, it does not improve aesthetics, but Pioneer helmets are built to withstand extreme circumstances. Hmm. It'll make you feel better, but it won't make you pretty. So sulfur, I think, is the one that we're really lagging behind. Need to kill more BCs, it looks like. I need more summer sloops. Yeah. Okay. Can anything else be made with polymer resin? Uh, it's a byproduct. It's a byproduct. Uh, I can make plastic. I can make rubber with water, and I can. Okay, so it's just you need water for everything. That's fine. Where is my friend? The train. Why? Oh, he's stuck. Because I didn't create enough block signals down here. My bad. 
I didn't separate my little trunk. I do that. Uh, block signal. I think you can place them anywhere. They don't have to be at a junction, but I'm going to try putting it here and just seeing what happens. Nothing. Okay, I guess you do have to put them here. That's all pink. I really wish... Yeah, like I feel like that should separate. You know? I don't think we should have to have another one there. You know? That that feels excessive. Anyway. Once we get beyond... The other guy should pick up behind us. Yep. I guess we've got the technology now to add these little spaces in too. Still trying to get the, the pure aluminum recipe. Remind me, what's the difference? Because aluminum takes coal and bauxite. We have another Caterium node there. I'm not sure what we're going to do with it. I think they're both pure. Pure... Oh, pure aluminum ingots. Yeah. I think we can go ahead and take a look at our next steps to make sure our computers and um, our phase three parts are on the way. We loaded this up with circuit boards and computers. We ran out of automated wiring. I thought I had calculated enough. I wonder if that means we're done. 49, we're halfway there, so I did the math wrong and only calculated enough for part of that. Unless I somehow cut off the automated wiring by mistake. Nope. Automated wiring. That is in... So we have to do cable and stators.
I still really feel like these are blown out, like they're too white. That's going to make six and a half per minute. And we need to make another 50 of these. So I need another 250. Well, we'll have them done in the stream anyway. But we're almost there. We we might be able to get phase three finished today. What I should do connect this directly. Almost right. That way the automated wiring will go where we want it to. And then I'll put circuit boards in the other one. good for a little bit. Is this one still doing its thing? No, Shine circuit boards. I feel like we've made a lot of computers just in that short period of time. Then we need another 50s of these, so we need another 100 computers. Which means the rest of them are mine. Wait. And then circuit boards I'll put over here. It should be good. Uh, I should put the summer sloop back over here though. Alright, so we should be good. We're making 3.75 per minute. Set a timer for 15 minutes. We'll come back. Uh, well, while it's dark, there's no point in going over there and sitting in the dark. So, I think it'll be a good opportunity to maybe work a little bit on the back here. Copy what we did over here. Why are there so many? 
It's not the middle? Hold on. One, two, three. Two, three. Oh, I went, I went wider than I should have. Find the carbon steel really matches the metal windows quite well. should change the color. Welcome back from your lurk, Loki. Is the coffee hot? I'm not quite sure what to do with this space. I, kind of, I have an idea. Don't know if it's gonna look good. Singles, exception of that right there. I feel like I need to separate this. Maybe make that a two meter. Cool too. I feel like it needs something though. I don't remember what I did on the other side. Sometimes I find when I can't decide what I want to do in a build, I uh, just do little bits at a time. 
find that usually helps. So this would be that. Feels very, very plain. Pumpkin spice latte. Hey, I like those. I had one of those recently. They're good. Right, so I want to work in more stuff like that. And obviously this green stripe I want to have in there too. Don't know how we're going to continue it around the corner though. That might be very, very tricky. mind if the stripe got a little bit bigger on the back. wonder if something like this would look good. We'd have to figure out how to wrap that without there being a gap, which is really strange. Oh, I guess I, this could be farther in. A little bit of depth. the idea of maybe these being green. We did that exposed bit there. I could probably do that all the way along, which it looks like I have. So we can maybe come in here and do green. And I just Oh, that's glass. I just want it to be regular. I think it's just a regular foundation, right? Have the same back, same sides. Just has to be. Hard to point at. Looks the same, right? Yeah. Oh, but then that's going to be seen. Hmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That's annoying. And that is overly complicated. Do not like. I guess the simple solution is just putting this in here. 
But then we've got that weird overlap thing on the end that I don't like. You have a white on top of chrome for your 45 degree sections lower down on the far side, but not on this side. I have a white on top of chrome further down. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, I'm not sure what we're doing with these yet. I like the white on top of chrome for the bottom here. This stuff, but I don't know. I don't know if I want to do the same thing here. I mean, we could. I like if I wanted to have this out here. Oh, if I use the, I don't know if the, if the roof part, instead of, if instead of the foundation, if I use the 45 degree roof, that might work. Actually lines up. That's not bad. That's pretty consistent with what we've got before. And if I use the roof piece, which is not the glass roof, but the fix it roof. I could potentially get rid of this which would then allow me to do the thing I wanted to do in here, which was have that be not there. Oh, no, wait, because then this is still not going to... Yeah, that doesn't work for this section, really. Oh, wait, this would be going down. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I have to bail on this idea and just have it be in there. Oh, wait, because then that's supposed to. I think we have to have concrete there, unfortunately. Well, this could stay, maybe. Hmm. 
I thought that might help with the Z fighting. Hmm, no. So the only way to really fix this would be to bump this out. This is where nudging really does come in handy. I just don't know if I want it to look that beefy. I like the bottom part. Black line down the middle of the beefy section. Black, um, this part? Oh, that part. Uh, we could sort of do that to help end this with the beam maybe. Okay, not my favorite. Not my favorite. sort of hide the edge of it. I'm okay with that. It feels a little bit more intentional. It's just that this feels a little bit strange now. So maybe here we continue it. If I did the reverse, would that hide it, I wonder? Hmm, not enough. Well, Mind the white over top of it though? Like that feels cool. Don't know if I want to do that all the way around. Being able to nudge the walls a little bit is really cool. That just feels kind of unrefined, though. Hmm. One thing we could do would be to bump the whole thing higher. Anyway, I like uh, this part here. So we just change that to Chrome. It's an easy, easy thing to do.
And then it's just a matter of doing these all down the side. One nice trick if you are struggling with um, getting things to connect is um, once you have your mouse in the right position, uh, use your keys to move around and don't move around with the mouse. Like don't look around in different areas and you can usually um, aim at the same spot a lot more consistently. So it's, unfortunately we still have to deal with this flickering, so I don't I don't exactly know what to do. I feel like that's not gonna be resolved. I feel like this is going to be a better solution. I just then have to not have this here. As much as I wanted this to drop, I may have to do something else. I might have to figure out something else for that. I think I really want to hide the Z fighting. That's right, we're about one step closer. That's cool. And we'll at least grab this and zoop this along. And that should be about 15 minutes, I think. I can tell because my coffee's cold. Where does this export to? This one. There we go. Phase three. Sorted. Yay, progress. And that's in the first hour of stream. Sweet save this right now. Ta-da! Really satisfying. Our Syrian, hello, you are just in time. Just in time. Welcome to the Project Assembly Pioneer Progress Presentation. Congratulations, the Phase 3 project part shipment is finally ready for delivery. On delivery, Phase 3 will be completed and the main body will be constructed. You should know how this works by now. You'll get access to tiers 7 and Other 8 and pack, above. pack, let's go. In fact, perhaps you should just go look at the technologies there yourself. <laughs> it's all laid out so that even a monkey could understand it, so you should have no issues. Wow. Speaking of which, I don't think you need a reminder about project parts. Instead, I will be providing some interesting facts. Did you know the average pioneer succeeds at saving the day? Did you know the average pioneer knows how to optimize pipe throughput? <laughs> Did you know the average pioneer stays Evil. late at work because they care about humanity? Anyway, I thought you might want to know more about your peers. Good luck in phase four. What? Uh, it's hard to read other things while Ada is talking.
pretty good pioneering, I'd say. Oh, come on, the cloud is going to cover up what's going to happen? That's annoying. Please tell me they removed the cloud for the animation. Yes, okay, good. So it's the outer structure, it looks like. It's got some color to it. Not a heck of a lot different. Phase three of project assembly completed. Fix its predictions indicate pioneers should generally reach this point faster with above average results, but we should all adjust our expectations according to the situation. It is understandable. The pressure and complexity will only increase from here, so be sure to take on phase four with efficiency and competence. Hmm. Well, safe to say, I've never completed anything in phase four. Uh, this is now at a stage in progression where I have not gone farther, so I can actually take that objective off the menu, I think. User interface, um, milestone, game phase. Don't need the phase. I do want to select our next tier though, because I definitely want to hover back. Wish it could be like the average pioneer. Yeah, I would. There's some stuff on screen there. I'll have to go back in the VOD and and watch it. Actually, I should clip this just so I. It's not gonna be a great clip, but um, I wish that the clips gave you the timestamp as to where that happened, but I, I should be able to remember that it was around the first hour. Maybe Sandy or someone in chat can drop me a, a mod note in Discord to be like, clip the phase three reveal. Because there's something on screen where it was talking about the average pioneer and it was not what Ada was saying. It was different and it was like an insult to you, the pioneer. It was, it was interesting. Apparently, if you skip a bunch of Ada's narration, she will tell you to figure it out for yourself. Oh, I didn't, I never skipped anything. Um, you can replay all of Ada's stuff, too. If you open the codex, uh, you can go into your inbox and you can you can replay stuff if there's audio. Uh, I want the hub. Tier 7 and 8. Boxite refinement. Computers and things. Hover pack. Oh, we need aluminum to unlock the hover pack. I guess I shouldn't have sunk those aluminum plates. That's annoying. That would have been good to know. Aluminum. We can't really get five Mark V stuff until we have aluminum in production, and that is complicated. Hazmat suit. Not the end of the world. And... Blenders. We can't really do good, good power until we have blenders. Drones. Aluminum. Nuclear power. Advanced aluminum. Resource well pressurizer. Turbo motors. Mark III miner. Particle enhancement. Uh, none of these have the tier six belts. Tier six belts must be in phase nine. That's annoying. I wanted to play with those. Unless I missed it. I didn't see anything. The Hover pack requires aluminum. So I just need to make more computers in the background, it looks like. Oh, can I unlock that now? Probably can.
Just unpacked a lot of water to get 10k power. Nice. Don't have the heart to do it again with the blenders. Oh yeah, no, I hear you. Um, do I want to unlock the hover pack or aluminum? Well, we can throw those guys in the sink. I'm going to switch this guy over to computers, I think. Or no, this guy was doing computers. Yeah, I'm going to grab this. This guy was doing automated wiring, which we don't want to do anymore. We want to go back to circuit boards. Put that on the wrong thing. Plastic copper sheet. Oh, it's on standby. You don't get the blender, but I don't get mostly this game. The blender helps you do um, the same thing to liquids that the summer sloop does to solids. So you can take fuel and dilute it in a blender and make more fuel just by adding water. I think it's actually residual fuel or, or heavy oil residue. in the sink. Hundred computers. That being made yet? Plastic. That'll do the computers, circuit boards. This is just on standby. I don't think I need this to be doing anything currently. Maybe crystal oscillators would be good. Oh, these are scooting around here. Right. Um, I guess it's fine. I need to take a break. I completely missed it because we were unlocking the phase. I think I hear the train. Boy, am I good. Be a daytime train break. So if you're new to the channel, I take a break once an hour. It gives me a chance to make more coffee. You can grab a snack, grab a friend, get a stretch in, and I'll be back in five or seven minutes.
I wish we could back the camera up just a little bit sometimes. It would be cooler to see those loading and unloading animations from a different angle. Thanks, Dan. Also, our Syrian, that made me laugh. <laughs> Well played. I should have actually got off out here and maybe even gone to look for more summer sloop. I don't see anything. Slug. I think we've snagged all the easy ones. I don't think there's anything over there. Maybe? We do have stickers live on the channel for anybody that wants to have some fun with those. You don't think there's anything on the Paradise Island? No, I don't think so either. All right, I'm just going to make sure that we've got things flowing in the background here. And then we're going to go and get some work done on the Sunstreaker factory. So, you are out of plastic. Of course you're out of plastic. That's right, we are not out of plastic. Um, can I open the chunk, please? Thank you. do the thing. You are not making anything because we don't need you to. Unless it's crystal oscillators. We should probably do that. High speed connectors, crystal. Let's do crystal oscillators. Quartz crystal, cable, and reinforced iron plates. Uh, have to remove that. Have to remove that. And I guess we'll just do that's quartz in. Ports out would be over here. Um, cable and restore four center plates. I have no cable? I have no cable. And I wonder if I want these to be something we use the summer sloops on.
don't know if I necessarily need it. I guess the computers are big in unlocking milestones, so we should probably keep the computers going. And you are out of circuit boards. Of course you are. Although, do I have enough? I've got 200 computers on me, don't I? Not quite. All right, so it's 100 of those, 250 of those. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. 500 rubber is nothing. We decided when you're going back to the main save yet. No, I haven't. Um, I want to consider combining the saves. I'm going to tear down my starter factory in the Devastator save and use this as a starter factory, I think. And then do just like one big Cybertron themed build, I think. We just have to come up with some, a different way to get plastic. So it's 100, 100, 250, 500. Oh, right. Okay, I need aluminum for that. So I should do this first. Yep. Milestone reached. Bauxite is refined into aluminum products via a multi-step process. Considering your past achievements, you should have the minimum required skill to overcome these new production challenges. If it helps, many others have done this before, so if you fail, someone else will eventually succeed. <laughs> I don't know if I need that up there. I think we're okay. You're distracting. Can I unselect a milestone? I guess we'll just move it. Okay. It's a very cool idea to merge the saves. Is there some kind of world edit esque tool that you could use to import Starter Factory, or would you have to rebuild it manually in the Devastator save? No, I would import it. Uh, the whole idea would be to not have to redo anything. Um, there is a tool on satisfactorycalculator.com that allow you to upload upload your saves, uh, and you can see what's going on. Uh, as a matter of fact, I can probably show you. Let's go here. Uh, oops, I am off my home keys. So you want to make sure it's not the satisfactory tools website, but the satisfactory calculator website. And then you can go to the interactive map, which will give you the map. So again, like if you if this is your first time playing, this is, it's kind of a. Um, I guess we'll watch the short ad. Three, two, one. Okay. Um, I don't use the site a lot because there's a lot of ads, and it's very chuggy, and I dislike it. Uh, however, one thing you can do is this is the stable access version. Where is it that you can upload your map? There it is. Click, drop your save game here. Um, I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to open this up in a different window. So if you know your directory for your save games, um, I saved, let's do 
not the current one. I'm going to go one back and I'm going to drag and drop my save over here and you'll see what it looks like. Yeah, a lot of ads. It's really chuggy on the stream. And, I, and the ads don't seem to respond to like clicking and removing them, which is annoying. Takes a while to load, but once it's in, like this is my save, it'll show you everything. It'll show you your chain lines, show you your map stickers. And one thing you can do is that you can do like a, I highlight, like select all sort of thing. So like you can do a, like a lasso, you can select everything in an area and do like a copy paste into a different save. So you could get a good amount, like it's, it's probably gonna involve a lot of troubleshooting and stuff, but you could, you could in theory copy over. So I would be more inclined to copy stuff into the Devastator save rather than copy the Devastator save into this file. Uh, just because the Devastator save is um, so large. But it shows you all kinds of great detail. I find that this map is really good for planning as well. You can see the, see the world grid, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, like I said, it chugs the crap out of my experience, especially when I'm streaming. So we'll just stop that there. Uh, I also have more coupons. 10 in total. Maybe we'll get more decals. Architecture. Yeah, I'd say we could spend on the customizer, right? So we've got the per factory floor, transportation. These are all for foundations, I think. Foundation patterns. I want to say maybe Solid lines. It might be worth grabbing one of these as well. Four or five, probably the five, and then we'll spend a little bit on the customizer as well. I feel like solid lines are gonna be more fun. Yeah, so let's go with Mark Three Outlet and all lines. Cool. So I'm pretty sure we now have everything moving around in the background. I don't know what I'm going to do with all these. I think I've got more room over here. Oh, that just goes through there. Seen the interactive map and browse blueprints on that site, but I had no idea those features are. Um, thanks for sharing. Oh, no worries. Yeah, you're welcome. No worries. Gonna need more rods. We need all the basics because we're gonna be building logistics. Good for rotors, good for staters. 
Uh, it's good for motors. Steel were good. Beams were not. Top those up. Else is kind of moving in the background. Are you doing the things? Production is paused. Do I want to use the summer sloops there or do I want to use the summer sloops on computers? Probably continue to use the summer sloops on computers. And we have some crystal oscillators happening. We do now. Okay. Cool. Yeah, it's great to find stuff on the map too. Um, if you get really stuck and you're having a frustrating time. I used it for hard drives when we were looking for hard drives in the Devastator save because I had already found so many of them. So at the end of the stream yesterday, we were trying to figure out how this is going to be decorated. And um, I was working on bringing in the logistics. I still don't know how we're going to make this part look nice. I just don't know. I did see a YouTube video about how to make a very short and stubby um, lift, which I might try to do so apparently two three meters away apparently you can glitch these good things to be short and this will actually work which means that you could in, you could have something on this second level and have it still have a, a lift so that is definitely something I'm, look, I'm going to look into when we when we do that, because I think that that could make it look a lot nicer. Uh, we could bring this one down. We could bring this one up um, and do it that way. Right now, I've got this one going through the middle and up the back, um, just so that they stay kind of even. Um, however, because I have not sorted that out. I don't know what's happening down here. And this still needs all the inputs. So I think the thing to do is going to be to start with the uh, inputs for what we do know, which is 120 copper ore coming in here. So this is the conveyor splitter. It's going to be sending 120 this way, uh, which will, or 60 this way rather. So we can easily Get this going. I'm going to switch my belt color back over to Sunstreaker. Oh, first I should make sure that these are in the right spot. And I'm pretty sure that I wanted to move these to be in the middle. Right, because that's going to go to that. And I want this to go to there. So I want to move this one over. Now, it doesn't matter how close to the front we get this. I 
I think I'd rather have it there. So I'll just line this up. This will wrap around here. And then, right, smart splitter is going to be here, but I wanted that to be in the middle. Might have to be a little bit closer so I can fit the lift. liked to do is have that be we could almost send that under the floor that would be cleaner than that although it would be kind of cool to see both of them so that up first this is going to be 120 that's going to be 120 and then this needs to get nudged over and it has to line up with that which it does the problem is that's going to look bad. We don't have a choice. So it's not my favorite look, but I really don't have another way to do this. I guess I could try to inch this a little bit to the side here. That's a little bit better. I think that's okay. I didn't want it touching the glass. Uh, did someone experience this? I was connecting belts to mergers and all of a sudden I can type one, two, three, etc. but I'm on the hotbar and not selecting what I'm doing wrong. Uh, you might have a build mode changed. Like you might be on like a blueprint designer mode. Uh, connecting belts to mergers. All of a sudden, I can't. I can type one, two, three, etc. But the item on the hotbar is not selected. Uh, you might also be cycling through. So, like, if I have a belt selected, if I hit one, two, three, oh no, it does work. Yeah, I try to use the radial manuals more when I can. Uh, 
Uh, the little blip where you get things connected is a nice enough uh, confirmation. I agree. Yeah. I agree. So this is going to be um, copper ingots and then overflow and none. It's only going to have 60. That's going to go all the way down the line. And we have to make four, I'm pretty sure. So this is going to be our wire. So we need three doing wire and two doing cable. There's our three doing wire. So we'll, those are in the right spot. I don't really think moving them would be good. I think I could nudge them back, but then I feel like that puts them too far, like too close to this. I'll try one of them and see if it looks okay. Feel it's a little close. It's going to be the same floor hole. Oh, no, it's not. That goes up against the glass. It totally does. Yeah, that's a no. Okay. They have to stay where they are. If anything, they have to move. They could move forward, but not backwards. And I guess I have to think about where the output is going to be. So the output for this one is currently right there. And that is not anywhere in particular. I'm hoping that this other line is on one of the lanes, which it is not. So we could nudge them forward a bit, which would help with this. Uh, but then does that run us into, right, we don't have a lot of room here. Because whatever we nudge here has to be nudged over here. So that could be tricky. Although it would put these on the right lanes. Let's try the second row. Nudged forward a bit and see what it looks like. Oh, then that's going to change the other spot. It's going to change this, and this is going to be farther out. Well. Oh, that's facing the wrong way. Or is it? Sure. 
And I was hoping it would be over here. sort of does the same problem. That stays there. I might actually bump that the other direction. So part of the slow process here is that I'm trying to make this look good at the same time. Uh, I think it might be better. I mean, that, there's really no difference in look there. It's more about how this looks. And we could bump these so that they're touching. I could, I could move this. We could, um, half meter nudge that. Half meter nudge that. going to look the same. It's just going to be in a slightly different spot. So that's going to give us a little bit more room. So what I'll do is I'll look at this happens like that. That happens like that. And so the next ones will just be just that little bit different. So this will come down to here. That's the output. This is the input. So this would stay in the same spot or get nudged over by a little bit. This would stay in the same spot as well. How was that? Oh, right, because we didn't move this end. We only moved this end. I guess it doesn't really matter. That's just farther back. So this would be able to be moved over to here, which I do like. It does give us room to walk down in between them, which is good. And then this, I guess we would just keep this on the same, same note. So I don't think that's going to move. stay the same. So it's a very subtle difference. And all it does is really give us more room here. And it does change the way that it would look up here. And I can't fit in there, which is annoying.
I mean, they're both off the center. So it's not like we can really do anything there. Because I don't think we can actually line those up. Oh, so it is a bug, Arsurian, for the one, two, three key press? So it won't change how this looks here. It'll only change how this looks here. And I prefer that one, I think. And I think I like the look of them touching one another. So the only benefit down here is that this lines up on a lane. And that the power node is a little bit farther under the lights. Hmm. Uh, we want to run that behind the lights anyway. Oh, this is facing the wrong way. Oh no. I was looking at the wrong thing. Uh, I don't know which to pick here. I guess the second one. Even though it is a farther connection here. I think I'm just overall happier with the way that it, the bottom one looks. Can't change that. And that doesn't change. It's just this one gets closer. I hate decisions like this because I don't want to do the whole floor and then change my mind. That's the issue. Alright, let's just go with the second one. At some point you gotta pull the trigger. So these will move, but the back one will not, nor will that. I just have to line this up, at least in this way.
Oh, wait a minute. That's too far forward. So unfortunately we have the accordion thing there that I'm not a big fan of. I guess we could move those back. Oh no, but if I do that, then this won't work. Like I said before, they give you some very odd um, ways of breaking things out. You place the mergers below on the lane. You're going, um, you're going for will the lift snap to it. I know you have single wiggle room of horizontal on the horizontal axis. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they'll still snap snap to it. Yeah, you can um you can actually put you can snap um hold on. So it's it's not good looking. But you can snap stuff like right to the top of these things. Like it's not a look that I like, but you can 100% do that. That will work. I just find with stuff like that, it's hard to then remember where, like, where your stuff is going. I feel like seeing the directions of things is good for me. So this, um, now I need to figure out what's going on with all of these. So... these other ones need to get nudged. Why did I nudge those ahead? I could nudge these back. Let's just take a look at a couple of these. If I just did these where they are. Not that one. This one. What is it lining up with? I guess it's lining up the, with the one next to me here. That's what it's doing. So the other option would be... To have a little gap. Because these are going to stay in line here. These might actually turn around. That's worth noting as well. the difference th th that make under the thing here. So this is the output. This is a merger. looks better on that one.
and these three wire constructors are going directly into the cable. AD wire going into the cable. So yeah, I'm going to switch the wire around. Or should I wish switch, switch the cable around? So the cable is coming out of these guys and going into these machines. So maybe that would simplify this a little bit. I guess it doesn't really matter if I could always bring it around because this is going to be a splitter in line here and I could put it that way and then line it up with the last two. Or it could just be the reverse, right? It really what doesn't matter. I feel like getting from here or here to there is really just a matter of preference. Ah, therein lies the problem. We'll have to use a merger when we don't need to. That's fine. This is actually going to be probably lined up here. Ah, and there's the problem. Can I do a little zigzag here? I can. I may have to send this back. So this has to exit that way. No, I can have it exit that way. No, I have to have it exit this way. I thought that I fix this. Haven't moved the floor holes yet? Oh, that's why. Okay. Right. This one has not been moved forward. I'm not getting a little chime there, which is annoying. So we've got the first three lined up. So then this should go there, no problem. Fix 
face the wrong way. That is merger, right? Are all these the wrong way? I really wish that they wouldn't auto-rotate this stuff. It drives me crazy. Yeah, see, it wants to snap there, right? There's the outputs for the copper. That's wire. Uh, if you're hitting decision fatigue, the, the answer is usually that your coffee's getting cold. Yeah, that's, that's a fair assessment. So that's why I wanted these to be moved and touching one another because it made more sense underneath everything. Uh, so these guys are making copper sheets as per the plan. So we've got four copper sheet constructors. And what I'm going to do with those guys is I'm going to bring them back the other way. So one, two, three, four. The output for this, I want... Um, it's actually not going to be there. Oh, do I have to spin those guys around? I think I do have to spin these guys around. Yeah. I want the input here. And I currently have the output. Yeah, this is going to get spun. the input for that has to be a splitter. Our Syrian used a sticker with 100 bits. The brain sticker. Thanks very much for the 100 bits, Arsiri, and I really appreciate it. Uh, which reminds me, actually, I should probably go on a break. That's going to go into there. So, copper ingots, and then copper sheets. This is the merger, and I want the output on the merger coming towards me. And that is the right spacing, I think. Yeah, the splitter mergers unfortunately have to overlap, but it means it's this or that look. And I think I prefer that look. And then this does a hop skip around to there. And that's copper sheets. Cool. Just realizing that it's an it's a quarter past three and I gotta check out my break. Here comes the train, so that's good timing.
So once again, folks, I take a break of once an hour, and it is about that time. Uh, thank you, Sweet Sandy, for the reminder. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'm, we're off on the day-night cycles. Normally when it gets dark, that's when I take my breaks in Satisfactory. Um, but I'll just have to keep an eye on the time, and we'll have to work through some of the dark. The darkness maybe it'll encourage us to install some lights while we're working as well. Uh, you all get to ride the brake train, and uh, I'll be back in about five or seven minutes.
right. Daylight for now. The more I travel back and forth in these trains, the more I want to change the landscape a bit. Break is over. Oh, welcome back. Back to work. No more rest. Don't be lazy. <laughs> Sweet Sandy. Thank you for the claptrap sticker. Man, claptrap just cracks me up. Uh, and they do such a good job of infusing his personality into what you folks type in. Like, you could type in the most mundane thing and it would still sound like Claptrap being anxious or uh, energetic, you know? Like, it's it's really well done. Thanks very much. So I think I have that in the right spot. And I've got to remove this part. So, uh, let's backtrack a little bit here now that we get everything in position. Uh, these guys are going to be making copper ingots. We don't have power to them yet. And are they lined up? I want to say not. That's going in there. This is going to continue along here. We have two outputs here. And these will all have to go into a line of mergers. For this, I feel like we might want to go as far back as we can. I feel like that'll work. And this will just sneak behind that, which is good. And this, we don't actually need one. That's 60, and then this is going to be 90, and then this is going to be 120. Now these ones, I will probably have to re-bring the thing down. Is this going to connect? Yes. All right, so that's our 120. Copper. I'm glad that it kind of ducks in behind there. That works out well. So 30, 60, 90, 180. Sorry, 120. And then this 120 goes in here. Copper ingot and overflow. So 40 of it will go this way into these guys. And I need one more. Doesn't have to be a splitter. But I don't think that's, yeah, that's not close enough. Or too too close, I guess. So that's 40 because this is going to be making wire and it's we need 80 wire divided by three. So I could do, it's probably gonna be better to have the first two at full speed. So 100% wire, 100%. So that's making 30, 30 is 60. 
And so I need it to do 20, which is like two point or 6.66 .66 repeating. So that'll be that sorted. And then those guys go into these other ones. And I think, I mean, if worst case, I just have to flip these around. Won't be the end of the world. Now that is somehow not connecting anymore. Do I have to put a belt in there? I do. Something I try to avoid. Or maybe not. No, I guess it's, uh, I guess it's connected. I'm just not getting the chime. This is annoying. And I think... Hmm. The reason I did it there. We can maybe lower this. Oh, that's 40. We should do 20. And then we'll do another 20. I think that's what I did over here. I'm trying not to think about power last. I'm trying to think about power first. That looks pretty close to me. I guess the nice thing about keeping these pointed the same way is that the power would be easier to do. Still not sure where the power is coming into the room, but we can sort that out. I do have some power. Oops. Wire. Wire. And wire. And then I hooked these guys up and I forgot that they gotta get bumped forward.
Got the chime there. Don't know why it didn't work before. I don't think I've moved this one yet. No. Let's be right up on the line. Oh, wait a minute. These are going to get turned around. stay. You really are better off to do the floor holes last if you can. The floor holes really mess with the height sometimes. Sorts that out. These guys are making cable. And they'll be not getting sixty, so they'll be they'll be underperforming. How much cable are we making? Forty cable. So, we want the output to be 20. I guess I could have done one and just overclocked it. That's a possibility if I wanted to make this feel more even. And if I wanted to get rid of this walkway and have a clear path, I could just put a power shard into this guy and have him make 40 cable instead of 30. Do we want to do that? That might actually be more fun. And I think I'd like to have more room here visually. So let's do that. That means that this is not needed. This is not needed. This is not needed. It evens up our bay. So we've got just this one guy doing cable and we'll do one power shard and change this to 40. And that means that this does not have to be going into anything. This can just be an output, which could stay at any level we want. So depending on what we, what we want to have, that's the, apparently this is all orange for a screenshot. So that's gonna be plastic. So we could have this stay high, probably. And then the circuit boards could be, I guess, the thing that goes higher. Or we can bring this down. Either way, this doesn't have to bend here. We can have this go here. At least for now. And... Uh, 
And if that's the output, that means this doesn't have to be squirrely either. I just have to make sure I'm not crossing the paths here with anything. So that has to be... Right, so this is to go the other way. means we can get rid of this and all of these and these guys which means I need to move this back too and instead of we might actually be able to get this all in one go that's 20 So we could do this in one, one go. Two meters, there we go. I find that there's some stuff that you just can't anticipate until you actually have the machines hooked up and ready to go. M, hello, good to see you. Welcome in, hope you're having a good day. So these are all going to be the output bits. And I wanted that to be nice and even so that they're spaced out the right way, which I think they are. Yeah. There's more on that side, but that works. Okay. So this is a merger. That's the output for copper sheets. No, I have that wrong. That is the output for cable. Right. We should we should get this cooking, I guess. It's a manifold, so that it'll it'll build up. So I should probably hook these guys up to power. We will bring that probably along the bottom of this. Uh, I would want this to look a little nicer. Forty. Let's go. Was that forty four? Forty five. So 20, it's about halfway.
Can't see the seam. Maybe they got rid of the seams. No, you can sort of see it. So my guess is that we'll bring power out underneath that. Although that's a little tricky. We could probably do it underneath here. Normally I try not to do stuff like this. This can be kind of hard to follow. going to be buried, so I don't want to do that. Or for this floor, I guess is up here. So I gotta get it down there. And from I don't know exactly know where the power is coming into the building yet. Probably around here. You can always switch that. Wait a minute, power's coming in from train. Right. So it'll be coming this way. And we can refine how that looks. But that means I can go down here. I always find it weird trying to get power to go through the floor in a good way. Um, there's no real easy way to do it without just clipping wires through the floor. So there's that. Um, for now, I guess that's what we'll have to do. So we will work out the details on that later because I don't like it. Uh, but over here, we are more than likely going to have to run some of these nodes along. I don't know if this will actually stick to those. Oh, it will. Uh, let's go every two, two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah, that looks right. Probably going to be able to see this from the outside just because I don't like the way that 
power lines sag. Yeah, oh, whatever. And then we just bring it down inside. So I'll probably have to switch this one to something better. Need the height for these, roughly. straightforward. Whoop. Do this somewhere it's easy to see. And then we just have to do some very simple Now, unfortunately, when I put this foundation back, it's going to clip. We just have to remember that this is clipping through. I used to care about this stuff, but I find that they give you so few options with the power that I'd rather just do it. Uh, so that should... Once we hook it up, this is not hooked up here. Let's mark two. That's a little slow, maybe. No, it's Mark two. And is this a Mark two? Mark two belt. It's a Mark two minor. Okay. I just want to make sure that the underside here is also Mark two. Mark two. Mark two. Okay. Actually, I wonder if we can use a, like a yellow flat roof here. That would be brighter. Uh, which way does it lean? I guess we'll put the black side that side. Not my favorite. I will probably revisit the design here. These are not hooked up. And they are not powered. Power for this temporarily. Let's just throw up one of these. 
And we did unlock the fancy ones. Hey, we've got the glow back on our smelters. I wonder if they patched that. Nice. That's awesome. So that's going to be shooting out some ingots. The ingots are going to be shooting out this stuff. Uh, unfortunately, the way that this is going to work, we have to wait for the cable to saturate before we can do the overflow. Because if I split this, it's going to split evenly. And I don't want that to happen. Uh, we've got a block here, which means this guy has not been chosen to make cable. He has. Why are you not doing the thing? Because you're not connecting. That's why. That is infuriating. Like, why can't I connect a belt? Why do I need to connect a belt? Like, that should connect. Mm. This one works fine. Why don't you? Why is it going backwards? Why do I have different... Okay, hold on. That's why. All the moving around. Still didn't give me a chime though. Is this pointing the wrong way? I feel like the order of operations in this game is a little finicky. Yeah, that's just not getting wire or ingots. There's nothing different about this at all. It's getting up to there. They're in the same space. They're lined up exactly the same. Why? Why, 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 why? Same thing. When in doubt, rebuild it, I guess. Oh, I wonder if it's a height thing. Maybe it was on... Maybe it was on one of the um, floor holes. Maybe it was like a little bit higher. Yeah, that's probably what was happening. Is that all of them now? Oh, I've got to put the... power. 
Sweet. Gee, I thought I was going to have to move everything again. Doing some shopping, Em. I need to get some new stuff, too. Got some errands to run this weekend. So I don't know why I keep on painting these. I'm just trying to keep them color-coded from now in my head. Copper, 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 copper. Uh, obviously, these are not set up. So that's fine. I don't mind building up uh, the, what you would call it, the support, uh, the um, manifold. But I feel like this is maybe moved. And I need to figure out uh, where. So it's right at the back of that. I feel like right in between here would be good. And this is right up against that. I feel like that could have been taller. That to me looks like it's right at the very top. Yes. Thirty-two, I think. Camera froze. Thanks very much. Um, I'm still trying to figure out how to get this to stop happening. It's an OBS setting. just cannot figure out what's going on um it's something to do with like a usb or a port refresh in obs it's not the camera it seems to be an obs issue but i've just not been able to there's apparently a, a software that i have to download to try and tweak something um sorry i shouldn't say it's obs i think it's the cam link i think it's the 4k cam link which is annoying because like those things are not cheap and the fact that it's not doing what it's supposed to be doing is kind of maddening, honestly. But it's usually two hours to, to um, three hours, which tracks because I've been streaming for two. No, three. Now, I don't think I want to string power across here. So temporarily, we will bring the power along here. I will probably bring it down from the ceiling somehow. Uh, these are making sheets. Sheets. And then we have to do the output for those guys. And that should be a merger facing out here. And I think that's because I have to do this to make it look symmetrical. Right, so I just need another two of these. are we making I 
These are 40 copper sheets, so this is all just real basic stuff. And I have to underclock one of these guys. Oh no, they're all just doing 10 per. Sweet. Okay, well, this is all this is all mark one, mark one, mark one. Make sure everything down here's a mark one. Yep. And then I can just use the regular mark one belts. And I think I have to upgrade my uh, other belt. Uh, that can be a mark one. And you are not getting stuff. What's that sending in? That's sending in copper, so we'll do the same thing. Now this was a higher amount, I think. Uh, 80 and 40, so yeah, this actually has to get upgraded. And then each of these is taking much 20 so I might as well just do the right scale all the way down what's oh that's backwards of course it's backwards because satisfactory likes to auto rotate stuff That should be the sheets hooked up. And the sheets are being produced, but they are not going anywhere because we have not hooked up the inputs for the sheets. Is that, yes, that's the right spot for that. We're gonna line that up down the middle. And then the plastic is gonna come from there. So it looks like we're doing sheets on the right. about my coffee again paisley patch finally catching a live stream i watch the vids usually well that's very cool are you watching on twitch or are you watching on youtube i'll give you a quick overview we are underneath our um sunstreaker computer factory we're putting in the logistics so we've got two manufacturers making five computers a minute and we're going to be um storing circuit boards and computers YouTube is easier, easier to watch. I agree. That's why I try to put the VODs on YouTube within 12 hours. So if I stream today, I try to have the VOD up on YouTube by tomorrow morning at 9. This coffee is probably not warm enough. Well, welcome in. Um, if you don't mind me asking, Paisley, how'd you find the stream? Like, was it a total raid? Or uh, are you a fan of the Spawn Chunks? Are you a Minecraft player? Like, how did you find find what we've been doing? Uh, 
that is a splitter and I guess I just have to line this up that's not gonna work there so it's gonna be the right every time Now, I guess I have to look at these uh, assemblers and decide, do I want to keep them like this or do I want to space them out? It might be better. That's only a half meter. I'm wondering if it's, it would look better if I bumped them down so that they were evenly spaced. Probably better to keep this one lined up the way that it is. don't know that this is going to matter, so let's try this one. If we can nudge it a couple times, then it'll work. Oop, facing the wrong way. So I could line it up. That's where it was. That would be the new position. I think that would be evenly spaced. Yeah, so we'll do that. And then this one will nudge just one spot. There, so it's one, two, three, four. I did not think about putting glass on this side, but I think that, yeah, that's going to go right up against the glass. Just because these guys are just so big. So maybe we won't have glass on that side. Maybe we don't need glass on either side, I don't know. That's not going to be there. I do like the idea of this beam thing, though. And... It seems like about one beam width behind the node is the right way to do it. And I think that's about what we've got here. Yep. So that's probably in the right spot. It's just not the right length. And that one has to be taller. Or is it the same height? The same height, we're laughing. It is not the same height. And it would be clipping if it was. How to do that? We're on an hour since the last break. Thanks very much, you're right. We are off as far as the lighting goes. Okay. And I hear the train go by, so we're going to go grab it. Oh, did it go the other way? It went the other way. Darn it. Okay, that's fine. Mm -mm. Oh. Anybody that's new to this chat, I take a break once an hour. Gives me a chance to uh, make my coffee fresh. Uh, gives you a chance to grab a friend, let them know that we're streaming. I will be back in five or seven minutes.
And we're back. Oh, no. No. Well, you're going to be on loop, I guess. <laughs> Whoops. I hate that you can't go from photo mode into interacting with the um, the trains. Pain. All right. He'll be back. So where were we? We were just about to hook up the sheets for these guys down here. And so some of this stuff, that's not moved, but this one, oh, that one didn't move either. Really? That's surprising. I would have thought that would have moved. Uh, it's 40 copper sheets, so we can just move these along. Well, I'll go up there. Now these are all going to be, I think, green. Either green or blue. Sunstreaker has a little bit of blue in them. So I was looking up some images and this one is mostly, this has got a little bit of blue. I think the blue is supposed to be black. They just didn't want to make it black in the comic book. Um, but he definitely has some red highlights, which you can see there too. So we'll have to figure out a way to get some red in here. But it's mostly yellow. I like the blue. I think the blue goes better with the um with the orange, that's for sure. Plus then we can make these blue for plastic. We might want to make both of them blue, actually, just so it's not so weird. Yeah, maybe we'll make them both blue. And then we just have the outputs, and these guys are making circuit boards. Now, how many circuit boards do we need? We only need 10, and we are making... A lot more than 10. These need... I'm only bringing in 40 copper sheets. So it would be 15, 15, and 10. We gotta find a place for an awesome sink around here too. Um, maybe we should make this ten. Underclock the first one in the manifold so it fills up faster. And then power these guys. And I guess we'll just do the same thing. I'm disappointed that it's gonna flip through. I guess I could knock it back by one. If I needed it to lower it. So if I wanted to actually connect these. It would be cool to have it like back here. It's the wrong axis, but it gets the right height. So 
if I went back farther here. Go with that height. that right, didn't I? Do the same thing. 32. That clip? It does not clip. Put the markers on here. How long would you spend typically dressing a factory? Uh, honestly, it depends on, I think, how happy I am with the factory, but also um, the, the, the how complicated you're making things. There's, um, you can, you can save yourself some time by using blueprints as well. Uh, if you're decorating all of your factories the same way, it can save you time. I'm trying to do something different every time. For better or worse. Now, unfortunately, this is probably going to droop way down. prefer to have just like an extra little bit here just to try to keep the wires a little bit tighter clips a little bit but at least you can't see it as much okay so then we just have to do the plastic And that should be pretty straightforward. Uh, we do have this coming in through here, so we'll add another one of these. And this should be in the middle there. This is obviously not straight. Wow, that is, that's a whole lot of no. I'll use this as the end. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one, two, three, four. Oh, that is right in the middle. Okay. Uh, plastic. What do we need for plastic? What's the volume we are doing? Oh, I guess I should look at the my actual sheet because one of these is underclocked. Mm -hmm. uh, plastic is going to, oh we've got this was one 160 80 going to circuit boards and 80 going to the computers but the line has to be 160 because we're feeding both so 160 that's a mark 3 
can you click on wires with a pole wall mount uh, and they will snap to it? Can you can click on the wires with a pole? Yes. The problem is that um, you can't, when you have a wire connected, your nudge is limited to one meter. You can't do small nudges. So if I, if you want to do micro nudges, then you need to have no wire connected. But yeah, you can grab one of these, gra grab a wire, and it'll actually like insert one. If you wanted to do that, correct. I just I didn't want to do it there. Yeah, it's I wish it was consistent. It's too bad that the that it's not consistent. We need an end to this as well. I kind of want to make this one orange. Sunstreaker had a... There's Sunstreaker? I thought there was an orange Lamborghini. What's... Is there an orange Transformer? Because Sunstreaker is yellow. Is, who's the orange Transformer? Who's that? Crayon? Hot Rod was an orange. Hmm. Crayon. Really? The Transformer's name is Crayon? Is he an Autobot? Jawbreaker. Huh. Oh, there we go. I remember this guy. Grapple. Remember Grapple. Sunstorm. Oh, Sunstorm was a... Uh, uh, that looks yellow to me. Crayon was an orange Jeep. Really? What a terrible name. Hmm. Um, I remember Grapple, though. I have to remember grapple for an orange factory. That would be kind of fun. Now, I wonder what we could do for orange. Bauxite is kind of orange. Maybe we can use, maybe we can use grapple as a, um, as a as a aluminum factory or something. That'd be kind of fun. Okay, so now we just need to bring in the one. This is going to be a Mark What I'm going to do for the sake of ease is I'm going to point these the wrong way. And that should allow us to snap a splitter. Oh, it's going to snap to that one. I don't want that. You're still snapping to this. I guess we'll get rid of these. Those, these are going to move anyway. Let's 
Still not snapping. That's annoying. At least it gives us the arrow. Why it doesn't snap to the other stuff, I don't know. Uh, and each one needs less than 60, right? Yeah. But that needs a belt. How come these don't need a belt, but that does? That is super dumb. I did it this way because I wanted everything to be on an axis down the middle here. Does that seem straight to you? Yeah. Okay, so we can paint these. And now we just have to bring in the plastic. And for that, I just need to complete the train line and add a stop to the other train to get us rolling. Eventually, we'll have a dedicated train, but for now, the trickle will be this. Um, wasn't there the whole uh, whack of construction seemed ones uh, hung up together? Yeah. Uh, so that was the premise for Devastator. Um, my Devastator guy. Oh. I want you. Because I want you to stop. Sorry, distracted. Turn off self driving. Um, the Constructicons. Um, Scavenger, Bone Crusher, Mixmaster, all those guys. Uh, they combine to create Devastator. Uh, do I have a Devastator? I don't think I have a Devastator image anymore. Just Megatron. Yeah. Um, let me just pop over here. There's a lot of Devastator art. Uh, not the ugly one from the movies, because neat idea, but uh, this one. Let's go Transformer IDW. Yes, there we go. That's Devastator. And that's one of the images I was using for inspiration for Devastator. I like this one as well. Um, I mean, I know my camera's kind of blocking it, but very, very cool. So my Devastator playthrough is all green and, and purple. It's very fun. So we can probably go about to here. Be my guess. And then that's one, I would say probably Let's start again there. We'll have to see.
Nope. Still no. Really? Maybe I have to back this one up. It always seems to be better to go from the middle than it does to go from the edges. That works. Now, does that feel like a good axis? No, it's kind of straight. Yeah, I guess we'll just go from farther down. Uh, that's why I want the hover pack. Rails become so much easier. I guess that's pretty good. Okay, so where do we want the hover pads to be? This one might end up moving. And how many is this? This is... Middle, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We'll do seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, why are you on the wrong side? Because it doesn't go this way. Like, that's not how that works. I really don't understand what's changed. I've, I don't remember that from any of the other updates. I don't remember that at all. We've got this exiting on the right way. This is pointing the same way. This needs to be changed. Yeah, so the Constructicons were actually bad guys. They were Decepticons. So, and weirdly, they were the neon green color in the show. I love feel the feeling when you have multiple trains on one line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I agree. The train stuff is really cool. Very, very cool. I feel like we may have to move that for it to make sense. Uh, although, where is going to be the... This is probably going to be the one that makes the most sense right there. Because we're going to have to have a block signal here too. I just don't understand. Like, this is the, the direction of this train is this way. You can't go both ways. Right? Like, the way that everything is looped together. Well, maybe it's because there's no block signal? Yeah, okay, maybe the block signal needed to be there. 
Uh, we need to separate these, though. That's a pain. So where, from a anti-gravity pad perspective, do we think... I think I gotta move that. And I think I have to move it underneath this block signal here. The good news is that this is all very easy blueprints. Let's try not to get run over. So it's either there or one back. I'm just debating I think it probably looks better with signal on it. And then this one we may have to jump back a bit or just delete altogether. Do we need another one? Do we think we need another support? Probably, right? I'd say we probably need one about here. Don't know about the bend. Maybe we can squeeze one in right about here. That's the big one. Now, I just have to wait for Mirage to get back. And I'll add a stop to the timetable, unless I could do it from here. I wonder if I could do it from here. Timetable. Oh, I can. Sweet. Um, edit timetable. Sunstreaker. Let's do uh, that. Save changes. Sweet. So now, Sunstreaker or Mirage should come in here before going to Wheeljack. And we have to unload some of this stuff. So this is... We needed one... feel like we should be okay. This may have to change, so I don't, I'm not going to be too precious about this. And this has got to increase in size. This is just the buffer. 
I don't think it's going to be all that important. Uh, this has got to be a Mark III. Double check that this is also Mark III. It is. Good. And there is train. Hear it. Bonk. I have no idea how much is in this. Probably full because that's probably full. We are not making enough plastic currently. So not full. And you can't go anywhere because there's a signal issue. Station unapproachable, unreachable. What's the next station? Next station is Wheeljack. Unreachable. There's nothing to say that this station is unreachable. I mean, yeah, that's not, that's not accurate. Why can I not move on? Also, why is my plastic not moving? It got here okay. It unloaded okay. Oh, so that's not the out. That's why. For starters. So I'll worry about this right now and I'll worry about the train moving later. That's happening there. So we should start to see circuit boards being made. Uh, we just don't have an output for the circuit boards. Currently, I think the plan was to bring them down to the floor. Originally, the plan was to hang them from the ceiling, but I don't think that that's necessary. And the idea was to have them in this lane here. So that's a smart splitter. We just need a merger. And I feel like the middle is probably fine. Wrong hopper. Producing like 10 or something.
These are all blue. Even though green is technically the color I would have wanted to use, but I think the blue looks better with the system. I guess we can go green from here, though. So this is a little bit wonky. So plastic is up. And then it's just a matter of this being set correctly. Uh, none in the middle. Circuit boards. And overflow. So that'll do its thing then this way. Nice. Uh, seeing your color coordination other organization leaves me wanting to make a huge re redesign in your game. It, it does help keep things like straight in my brain. Like copper is happening over here and it's orange. The black one is the one that's doing the cable. I'm also trying to keep, stick to the primary colors of the transformers. So like having the transformers for inspiration is certainly helpful, right? At least I think so. Um, so the thing now is, how do we get the train to keep going? Like, why is the train not working? Seems kind of uh, bizarre to me. I usually prefer to have the block signal a little bit more visible. I wonder if it's because we made that track and it went the wrong way the first time. So I don't know don't want to delete the curve. I feel like they've changed it where the directions of the track actually matter. See there it showed the, the link up on the right side, right? Yeah, like why is it doing it backwards? Like that shouldn't be, you used to be able to delete these. So that's what it was. It was missing the signal, but like, why is the signal on the wrong side? Like, no trains come this way. That's not a possibility. Alright, well maybe if I... Nope. Gives me the same one. That's really kind of annoying. I mean, it looks fine, it just... Well, one, it's... Why is it way over there, right? Like, I wish it was in line with everything. I guess there has to be a switch track there. Anyway, I guess all we need to do now is just power on the um, the um, manufacturers. It's ugly. I don't like that it's so gross looking. So that's making computers. This is making computers. Currently not outputting anywhere, so we'll have to do something about that. I think we need to bring that down here.
I'll just mark ones. Thank you, Cosmic. Appreciate, or not Cosmic, Sweet Sandy. <laughs> the last couple days, Cosmic has been in the chat reminding me about breaks and times. Thank you, Sandy. I really appreciate it. Uh, we're okay with that color for this stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this will be... One of those. I think I wanted to have this be just going to there, so maybe I have to move this. Right. That would have been the better idea. Might work. And I just have to switch this. And for now, I guess we'll do a merger out here. I don't want to do it this way, but this seems to be the best idea right now. Now, why does that not work? Oh, well, that would go outside the wall. Anyway. Well, they both do. might work. So that'll be the computers. Now I just need to bring some power down this way haphazardly. Fortunately, I've mirrored these. That's going to be a real pain. Um, we'll do one at a time, I guess. not hooked up somehow some way somewhere because these ones work fine but these ones don't like what why it's the same is it off no it's not off I really wish that we would figure out like what the, the deal is here it's the right direction but why is it same distance 
This one does it just fine. So why does this not work? Right? Like that is exactly in the same position. And yet it won't connect. So frustrating. So frustrating. I feel like inconsistencies in design within a game. Like you can't, I can't bend to break the rules if I don't know what rules are actually working. You know? Like what, like why, why does that not work? Hmm. Forty plastic a minute. I don't know why this is so slow too. Like, why is it stuttering? I guess because it's bringing in two seventy, and it doesn't need to be. Um, we're bringing in one sixty, or we should be bringing in one sixty, and each of these is taking thirty. Uh, that's sixty. And that's 20, so that's 80. So this only has to be a 120 line. The train's traveling fine now. understand why this isn't working. I mean, when in doubt, just rebuild the whole thing, I guess. now. So something was wonky with the splitter, I guess. It was probably a height thing. whether to keep those blue or whether to change them to green. Looks like it's working now. I'm not sure I'm crazy about this either. I think I would rather have a... Um, beam on the end. That or a wall. You 
No. Oh. Darn it. And that's why I don't like railings. At least it's not like Minecraft. And you can get things up and running fast. Uh, no power. So we've got computers being made. We should have computers being up here. And now this is just going to load the computers into the train. Although, don't know exactly what we're going to be doing with them. So now this is just running computers around. I guess I can have another one over here. Uh, oh, that's the second... Crap, that's not going to work. I think we've got rubber on the second component. I might have just unwillingly loaded computers into the rubber. An undo button would be nice? Yeah. I'm pretty sure that you have a mixed bag. Plastic. And you are full, so you've just not had a chance to pick up anything. That's good. Uh, because I've got this in the wrong spot. So I'm going to... I don't want to unload... And I don't want to load. So I think the thing to do here is to actually remove that and just have them go into a bin. I'll have to install an overflow. That's why this needs to have its own train. I think this will end up being its own dedicated train. Uh, we'll just have to work that out. Uh, and then these guys, this is going to a bin for the overflow. And we also need to do the same thing for computers. Unfortunately, I have to do that before the merger. No, after the merger. <laughs> uh, well, this one's probably going to continue along here. So I could put the merger here. And then have it separate somewhere else. I want to have a window here, but I don't think the window is going to start until this level. have two windows instead of one. Not enough silica. Yeah, it might be better. To have two instead of one. Not ideal. Maybe we'll go with something a little bit smaller, like a a um, pillar support, maybe.
Try to get as much window as possible. Yeah. A little bit better. And we can change the shape of these. Maybe this ends up being something that comes down. Oh, no. That's a little bit more unique. Yeah. Cool. So I wanted to put the computers into overflow as well. And I also don't have an awesome sink at the moment. So we'll add one of those quickly and temporarily. Overflow. I guess technically we want to have the other overflow here. Gonna need a merger in front of it. And so I think what we'll have to do for now temporarily is actually move this to here. each go around the corner. At least it's symmetrical. And then... Oh, but then I need the overflow to happen after this. Ugh. And that's outside of the... Yeah. Gross. Um... This will be computers one way. None and overflow. Or actually, I should put computers going this way. For now. And I don't need that there. I need that over here. No, 
had it right. We'll just leave it. It's just a pain in the butt to have the computers up top and the circuit boards down bottom. So I need to, I need to figure out how this is going to work. The issue, of course, is that I don't have um, anywhere for the computers to go. will be Ooh. right and so what's going on here not enough plastic because I shut off the train right so this will fill up with computers that will fill up with circuit boards the overflow should all go I just have to turn on the um, awesome sink. Yay, circuit boards. Plastic going. I never know the um, the throughput um, information on these is always incorrect. Fix computers? Did I fix the computers, or is that a request? Oh, fix computers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Add it to the do list. So this is saying 11 items per minute. That is very low. Don't know why it's only 11 items per minute. It should be at least 40 because that's how much we're making at the other end. And this is the first stop. So we're snailing along, but at least we're up and running. And now I can start to add in like the details and the walls and the confines and actually get this to a point where it looks good. At least the power is tidy. I'm happy with that on this side. I don't know how we're gonna do the power over here. We'll have to come up with some sort of, I might have to do power under the floor for these guys. Cause I think it would just be cleaner to have this as a nice mezzanine. Have this be open. I like the idea of the windows. We might have to do something there to make it look supported. Maybe this has to be pushed out a little bit. Oh, it is. Okay. We'll figure something out there to make it look good. Sandy, thanks so much for being here. Uh, I have to go too. Appreciate all of the support and the modding. Um, so we're up and running, folks. That's good. Um, we've got copper coming in from the mines down there. Copper ore. We are smelting it on this floor here in machines that I meant to make orange. So smelting in there. Uh, these are smelting, I think at the right speed. These seem to be over filtered. So I may have to dock this. I think these have to be, oh, you know what? I haven't underclocked any of those. I'm gonna add that to the list. I need to underclock. Do I have to underclock? No. Check smelters for underclocking. I shouldn't, but it seems like I do. Um, this all looks like it's going pretty well. These guys are not getting enough plastic, so we know that these guys are underperforming, and that's fine. 
and then we have everything going on over here. And the crappy thing is I just don't know how to make this look good. So we will figure this out. I may end up changing these to face us. That could be a cool way to do it. That way we could split things in the middle here and have them go down two belts. Uh, and then the outputs here would not be so far away from their destination. Uh, the output would be rotated out to back here. And then that could end up being something a little bit easier to deal with. Um, I liked the idea of these sloping down into the middle and not blocking the window. Um, but this kind of comes up quite high anyway. It might be just cool to have this area here because we've got like a couple of foundations here that we could totally use for load balancing if we wanted to. It would have all this stuff kind of in this area. We do have three belt heights, so we could we could swing that. We could swing that. Uh, that might be a good way to do it. Um, I just don't know what that would mean for the backside here. I will have to mess around with that. Either way, we are set up to store computers. We are now making computers on our own. It's a very slow rate, but I no longer have to do it manually. And that's a good thing. Cool. Uh, folks, thanks so much for a fantastic Friday. I hope you have a good evening. I'm going to pass you along to somebody else playing Satisfactory. I do have to run, so I'll have to raid and run. But I think that we will have a lot of really cool things to do in the future for this build because, I mean, it doesn't look like Sunstreaker, uh, but we want to make it look like Sunstreaker. We're going to have it uh, probably look like this guy. Uh, in the end so some red and some yellow and some orange on the inside uh, i think it'll look good in the end uh, you can follow me on social media at joel duggan i'm very easy to find you can find my podcasts on itunes you can just actually search for me on itunes joel duggan and i come right up but uh, it is the spawn chunks podcast and the citadel cafe podcast uh, you can also uh, find me on YouTube at Joel Duggan VODs and on Patreon at patreon.com slash surprise Joel Duggan. Uh, just don't type in surprise because that's not a thing. Uh, and that's one of the best ways to support me, actually. It's less than a cup of coffee a month. It's only $2 a month. You get to join the Discord. Keeps me streaming. We have a sub goal of uh, 500 subs. That means that uh, my streams would be 100% paid for uh, as my job. And so I would really appreciate it if you could spread the word. Uh, it's not so much uh, about asking for support. It's about asking to bring in friends and viewers. And then statistically, um, hopefully more people will just support along the way. Uh, thank you so much for the stream stickers uh, today. Those were a lot of fun. And of course, we finished phase three. So we are now have access to aluminum. And I am just as far technically in this playthrough as I am in my other playthrough. So uh, we have access to stuff like that. I don't know what I'm going to do about the um, combining of the saves. I have to do some testing on my own to see if that's even viable. Um, I may try to I may try to play some Devastator soon to see if that holds up on stream. There have been a couple of more updates, but we'll have to see. Uh, anyway, let's see who we're going to pass you along to. Who is live on Twitch playing Satisfactory? I'm Kibitz is live. Cub fan is live. Let's send y'all to... I'm cool with either Cub Fan or I'm Kibitz. If anybody has any preferences, let me know in the chat. They are both good dudes. Uh, I feel like it's been a while since we've rated I'm Kibitz. But I am up to two. Um, happy to have suggestions. Cool. Let's go with Kibitz. We'll rotate around. Thanks ever so much, folks. Uh, enjoy your time with I'm Kibitz. They are a fellow Canadian, great streamer. Make sure you follow when you get there if you're not already. And I will see you tomorrow at one o'clock Atlantic for uh, probably a little bit of Minecraft and some Satisfactory. Cheers. Bye for now.